If we want to go through the digital after our uh, history, we have to go back to 2008. Uh, one of our most iconic movies is called A Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Basically, it's, it's Brad Pitt. When he was born, he was like 90 year old, 90 or 80 years old, and then getting younger and younger and younger, right? So that movie, we won an Oscar. But not many people know about that, the entire movie, Brad Pitt has only participated in his, his original age, which is probably no more than uh, 25%. And the rest of the 75% of a Brad Pitt is uh, created by digital domain. So to us, that is the beginning of virtual human. Uh, in the last, I would say, eight, nine years, we've been working on uh, several films by using the same technology, and then Tron, right? We recreate the, the younger version of uh, Jeff Bridges. Uh, in 2012, uh, we recreated uh, Tupac. So in a Coachella festival, Coachella! Uh, we made uh, the virtual Tupac sing the new song, right? And, uh, and many people are actually cry. Uh, and after that, we have been thinking about how we can commercialize this. So uh, 2013 is, uh, is a game changer. So we got a, a license uh, from uh, Teresa Tan family. Uh, Teresa Tan Deng Lijing, uh, she is like, um, like the most iconic uh, singer ever in the, 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 the Chinese community. We recreate her and, and, and let her sing with uh, Jay Chow. After the concert, they connect us saying, saying that they, they want to see more. But to us, the most important thing is how we can actually use the same technology and connect it with uh, the end consumer. What if we can connect this technology not by using a film engine, but by using game en gaming engine? Meaning you or anybody else can control your own digital avatar. But how do you plan to incorporate artificial intelligence? It's, it's a million dollars question. A few weeks ago, one of the world iconic uh, technology guy, John Lackling, is a former uh, Facebook EVP, and he joined us last week as a board of director. He shared something with me even more. But what if you can actually talk to a human face virtual character, that you can have interactive conversation with him or her, and that person can be some, someone you love, or can be a family who passed away, or a dream girlfriend when you are in high school. And that someone in today's world, if this someone can connect with AI, they can make the AI become a human character. If you are talking about how we connect AI, digital avatar, and VR, think about it. That will change the social network completely. You can have a second life. And that, that AI character can become your friend. But it sounds like it opens up a can of worms ethically. Yeah, that sounds like we're going to have a lot of morale issue. <laughs> uh, this, is a, this, is, oh, this is a dark side, also the beauty of a new technology, that you can, it's full of imagination. But I think one thing that without fear is um, when you see this is a path that can be your future, I think the first thing that across your mind is not about a morale issue, it's about how to make it work. Then we think about morale issue. Yes, you are completely right. Uh, I, I personally also have some uh, concern. Of if, if you can become anybody that you want in the, in, the, in the world, the virtual reality world, that you don't even know who you are talking to. Are you talking to a he or she or, or it? Right, you don't know. But one thing for sure is, is life will not be the same anymore. That is for sure. That sounds mind-blowing, but when do you expect this to really happen? For our long term, our long term is uh, our chairman, right, Peter Chow, you know, the, the founder of HTC, and he believes in a very soon future that everybody will live in a virtual world. You, you have your daytime that you, you still go to office, uh, you know, you're, you're still having meetings from time to time. But when we go back to you, you know, you're back to home, then you can live in your virtual world. You put your VR goggle on, and you and your friends can be in a movie, can be in game, when you are having your so-called daytime work. And your digital avatar with AI can still live with life in the virtual world, a repl replace of you, a represent of you. If I'm in a virtual world, then you are not in a virtual world. And that virtual mark 
or a virtual Daniel can play your role in that particular, you know, virtual reality world. I think that can be a very scary future, but not too, too far from now.